Hey, did you hear? E3 season is upon us, which means things are already leaking. We got a new leak from Persona Central just a little bit ago, giving us more information about Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'm already excited. I'm a huge Persona fan, but never really gave SMT enough time. So I'm excited to kind of get into that world. We, apparently, SMT 5 is coming this November, November 11th, which means it is less than six months out. It was announced a couple years ago and then just kind of disappeared. But part of this week, we got plenty of more information. We know that it focuses on a Japanese high school student. I'm already in. Persona's all about that. So you can already get me down for a copy of that because they're gonna have a Japanese high school. We also know we're gonna go to like an, another world called Da'ath, where you fuse with some sort of otherworldly spirit and become the forbidden one. There's supposed to be more than 200 monsters. I'm really, really excited to actually see some footage from this game. I'm guessing we're gonna see it at Nintendo's E3 event. I really hope we do, because I just wanna see what this game looks like. All this information sounds so cool. How do you, what do you feel? Are you excited about SMT? Are you a fan of the series? What do you think? Did you hear about this? Yeah, Matt, I did hear that. But did you hear that there was another big leak that came out from 2K this time, about three, new games that we might hear about at E3. The first game is called Wonderlands, which is supposed to be a spin-off of the Borderlands series starring Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina is an interesting character, and as, as far as we know, it's supposed to be the same kind of multi-class structure of the original series. So I guess we'll find out. The second game is coming from Phyraxis and Marvel. Creators of XCOM are possibly making a brand new tactics game with the Marvel characters? Well, not my first choice, but I guess we'll find out about that too. And the last game is, well, we just know the name. It's Codename Volt. As far as we can tell from the leaks, it's supposed to be a mix of Saints Row and the Cthulhu Mythos. Very, very interesting stuff. Personally, I'm the most excited for that one because I'm a huge fan of the Eldritch Horror HP Lovecraft Mythos. Very excited. Tactics is not something I usually consider when thinking about Marvel, but it does put a smile on my face. Matt, what do you think about this? You know what? I'm excited, Darren. A Marvel-esque Fire Emblem type thing sounds like two of my favorite franchises coming together. I want to talk to these heroes. I want to do tactics stuff. XCOM, the idea of it always really stood out to me, but the way that you don't really have a lot of control over what the character stories are, Nah, it's one of the reasons I stayed away. So put superheroes in it, I'm game. The Cthulhu one, sounds cool. We haven't had a ridiculous 3D open world game like that in quite a while. If they have fun with it, I'm down. Tiny Tina, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm excited for it though. But yeah. what do you think about SMT, Darren? I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game in my life. A big fan of Persona 5, and I really do want this to be the first SMT game I play. I'm very, very excited to see what started that series, uh, where the roots are, and I just love complicated, difficult JRPGs. So I'm very excited. That is a whole lot of leaks. I'm sure there's gonna be even more as we lead up to E3, plus a ton of information coming very, very soon. I'm excited, Darren's kind of excited. Are you excited? What do you think? <laughs>